Today, my cat and I are going to break down for you the best approach to farm the biggest airdrop narrative in 2024, which in my opinion is Ethereum restaking with Eigenlayer. Now, there's lots of different ways that you can approach this, but the TLDR is that you can maximize your capital efficiency, maximize your airdrop points, and also maximize your yield by using liquid restaking tokens and then depositing them into a DeFi platform like Pendle. And so in this video, I'm going to break it down for you step by step and walk you through how you can qualify for not one, but two separate airdrops in the restaking narrative and also maximize your yield. Also, I do have to disclose that this video is sponsored by Secret Tune Marketing, which is great because I use all of these apps anyways. I've deposited thousands of dollars into them and I probably would have made this video at some point regardless. Now, let's start with a very brief overview of restaking with Eigenlayer because at this point, you can delegate ETH or staked ETH tokens to Eigenlayer, which is going to use those tokens to provide security for multiple protocols at the same time. So that's why it's called restaking. And in exchange for doing this, you earn points for an Eigenlayer airdrop, but you can also earn additional points for different restaking airdrops and high yield. Now, there's two main ways that you can restake your ETH right now. You can do it directly with Eigenlayer, or you can use a liquid restaking protocol like EtherFi. Now, if you restake with Eigenlayer natively, you will only earn points for the Eigenlayer airdrop. Of course, you also get the ETH staking yield from the staked ETH tokens, and eventually, once it moves from the test net, you'll get a restaking yield on top of that. And with this native restaking approach, there's fewer layers of smart contract risk. However, you're definitely leaving a lot on the table when it comes to your earning potential from yield and from airdrops. And so in my opinion, the better approach is actually to deposit your ETH into a liquid restaking protocol. This is where you stake your ETH with a protocol that takes those tokens and deposits them with Eigenlayer for you. In exchange, you get something called a liquid restaking token. So you get to hold that in your wallet, you get to maintain custody over it, and you can use it to deposit it in DeFi and do other useful things. Now, a lot of options for LRTs have popped up in the last couple of months. EtherFi is the biggest, but there's also Kelp, Renzo, Swell, Puffer, and a few others. However, for this strategy with Pendle, the only three that we can use are EtherFi, KelpDAO, or Renzo Finance. I'm going to be using EtherFi's EETH because I think the incentive structure right now is the best, but you can do the exact same strategy with one of these other two tokens if you have a different preference. Anyways, with these liquid restaking tokens, you earn the basic Ethereum staking yield, but then you're also going to earn a restaking yield once that gets turned on, and you're going to earn the same number of points for the Eigenlayer airdrop as if you restake directly with Eigenlayer. But on top of all of this, the bonus is that you're also going to be getting points for one of these liquid restaking protocols, which are each doing their own airdrop. So for example, EtherFi has loyalty points and those are going to be converted into an airdrop. Kelp has Kelp miles, which are going to be converted into an airdrop and so on and so forth. Every different LRT has their own airdrop campaign on. And so this is how you can maximize your capital efficiency, get the same number of Eigenlayer points that you would have got anyways, but then also qualify for multiple different airdrops. And the thing is, some of these protocols like EtherFi actually have temporary incentives to encourage adoption. So for example, until February 10th, EtherFi has a mega week on where you earn bonus points for both the EtherFi airdrop and the Eigenlayer airdrop if you deposit new staked ETH. And then you can take those EETH tokens over to Pendle and use this application to boost your yield farming or your points even more. So this is definitely the most capital efficient way to farm the Ethereum restaking meta. Of course, there's a few additional layers of smart contract risk because you're going to be depositing into a liquid restaking token and then taking those and using them in a DeFi app. Now, I personally think it's worth it given the reward structures, but you are going to have to do your own research and make sure that you're comfortable with this before you follow along in my footsteps here. Anyways, with that basic explainer out of the way, let me now actually walk you through step-by-step step how to do this. So for starters, we're going to need to stake some ETH with EtherFi. So if you go to their main application page, and I'll throw a link down below, you're going to be able to connect your wallet and it will show the balance of ETH that you have in that wallet. And then you are going to stake that for EETH. And EETH is that liquid restaking token that represents your restaked ETH. Now, if you want to absolutely minimize all of your transaction fees, you can skip this part with EtherFi and then just jump ahead to the Pendle deposit. However, I will say that if you do that, you will be leaving some EtherFi points on the table because of their mega week promotion. So I think it's worth it to spend a couple of dollars to make the deposit first with EtherFi, stake your ETH and get the liquid restaked EETH 
and then take it to Pendle. If you don't wanna do that, you can save four or five dollars in a transaction fee, but you're gonna be leaving a lot of points on the table. So this is a pretty simple application. Just select how much you want to stake. So I'm gonna stake one ETH and then click on the stake button down here. Now, when we do these transactions, they are going to be on the Ethereum mainnet. So the transaction fees can range from a couple dollars to sometimes even more than $10, depending on the gas fees at the time that you're doing it. And so I recommend waiting until the gas fees are as low as possible right now they're a little bit on the higher side almost at 30 and if you can get it in the low teens that's ideal although usually that's only going to be happening in the middle of the night in north america just based on the trends of ethereum gas prices anyways i am going to confirm this transaction here because i wanted to go through but you can also try to get lower gas fees by setting a low priority your transaction might take a lot longer to go through but you won't have to pay as much. Okay, so that transaction was a success. And now I can see the balance of EE that I have. Now, in order to see this in your wallet, you're probably going to have to import the token. So I've already done so, but if you haven't, the way that you can do this is by going to the transaction in your activity tab, clicking on it, and then clicking view on block explorer. Here, you can find the actual token contract address. So click on that button there. And then you'll be able to click up here under more and add the token to MetaMask. And that's going to allow you to see your balance. So that is step one of this process. And we've now staked ETH with EtherFi, which is then taking that and restaking it with Eigenlayer. If you want to unstake, you can do so at any point by just clicking on this button here. So it's not locked up for any amount of time. You can unstake it immediately, or you can actually swap it on a decentralized exchange if you want to. So if we go over to the portfolio tab here, you can track your staking yield. So this is the basic Ethereum staking yield. There's going to be a restaking yield at some point, although it's still in testnet, hasn't been turned on. And then you can track your EtherFi loyalty points and your Eigenlayer points all in this dashboard right here. Now, this is the first step out of the way, but if we want to take this to the next level, we're going to want to deposit it with Pendle because that's going to give us a 2x points boost on the EtherFi loyalty points, not on the Eigenlayer points, but on the EtherFi loyalty points. And since I staked this ETH during the mega event, then I'm getting bonus points for doing so. So before I make the deposit in Pendle, let me just tell you what this platform is so you have a better understanding of what you're doing. Pendle is a DeFi app for yield trading and tokenization of yield, where you can do a bunch of different things, including get a fixed yield on your assets. You can trade yield futures by betting on whether or not yields are gonna go up or down, and you can do much more. So there's two basic features in Pendle Earn and Pendle Trade, and they have a massive amount in TVL of over $750 million, and over 1.3 billion in trading volume. So it's super versatile. It's currently available on the Ethereum mainnet, but also on ETH L2s like Arbitrum, BNB Chain, and Optimism. Now currently for LRTs or liquid restaking tokens, they're only available on the Ethereum mainnet. Although you can use Pendle on ETH L2s like Arbitrum to farm yield on a variety of different tokens, which I'm actually also doing with this wallet but LRTs aren't currently available on the L2s. However, they probably will be at some point in the near future, which obviously would be great if they migrate to L2s because then we can save a huge amount on transaction fees. Anyways, now that we've got our EE from Etherfi, we're going to use Pendle to boost our points and get additional yield. Now there's actually three ways that you can approach this. You can take your ETH, sell it for YTE ETH, which is using leverage to boost your points for Etherfi airdrop and for Eigenlayer airdrop. However, there's a cost to doing this and at maturity, the YTE ETH is gonna have zero value. The second option is to deposit for LPE ETH which is going to get you a variable yield and is going to give you that 2x points boost on your EtherFi loyalty points. And that's the one that I'm actually going to do. And then the final option is to deposit for PTE ETH, which is going to give you a fixed yield that's currently over 33% APY. However, you're going to forego all points to earn that fixed APY. So that's why currently I think the second option is the best, at least for me, because you get to retain all your points and you get to earn an LP APY for providing liquidity. So this is the one that I'm going to do, but please do your own research and understand the benefits and the risks of each of these before making a decision. So using this application, we're going to deposit our ETH in exchange for that LP ETH. This is going to earn us that additional yield and boost our points. Now, the one thing I'll say is that if you want to actually buy the Pendle token, 
and stake or lock up the Pendle token, then you can actually boost your LP yield. So there's options on the application to buy Pendle and to lock Pendle for VE Pendle. And it's totally up to you whether or not you want to take that additional step. For this video, I won't be doing it, but if you do, the longer that you lock your Pendle for, the more boost you're gonna get. The application itself is quite simple. So you just select which asset you want to deposit. Like I said previously, you can actually just deposit ETH directly, but then you don't get those points boosts from EtherFi. So you're gonna wanna select eETH and then make your deposit. I stupidly wrapped my eETH because I thought I had to wrap it before making the deposit. So I spent another couple dollars on transaction fees that I didn't need to. So that's why I am depositing wrapped eETH instead of just regular eETH, but you're just gonna select this one. Anyways, once you select which asset you're depositing into Pendle, select the amount. I'm just gonna do the maximum. And you can see that the amount of slippage here is minimal at minus 0.02% price impact. So I'm getting pretty much exactly what I'm putting in. And then for the locked Pendle yield boost, if you lock Pendle tokens for two whole years, you need less than if you lock it for only three months, for example. So the amount of tokens that you have locked and the amount of time that you lock them for determines your yield boost. Anyways, it's time to actually make this deposit. So this is gonna be a two-step transaction. First, we have to approve the spending of the token, and then we have to actually make the deposit. So let's hit approve the wrapped EE here and confirm this transaction in my wallet. So this is gonna cost me another couple dollars. And once the token approval goes through, then you can hit zap in and make your deposit. So let's confirm this transaction here. And this one is by far the most expensive, but for this, I'm actually gonna try and get lower gas fees and snipe the low. Okay, confirm. Okay, so finally my transaction was approved and I've zapped into the Pendle LP pool. Now, if you want to, you can actually add the LP token in your wallet so that you can track your position and don't forget that you made the deposit. You don't need to, but if you want to, you can click on the transaction, look at it on a block explorer, and then select the Pendle market token that you received and click here under more add the token to your wallet, and then you'll be able to see your balance in that liquidity pool. So I've basically deposited one ETH into Pendle. In exchange, I received 0.511 Pendle LPT. So let's add that token to the wallet. And if we go back here under zap out, you can see that if I was going to get rid of this, I would be able to exchange it for one e ETH or 0 0.9999. So pretty much exactly what I started with. Really this whole process, there's no slippage. Now in terms of the total transaction fees that I spent, it ended up being about $50. I spent more than I needed to because I wrapped the token and that was an unnecessary extra step. And you'll definitely be able to save five to $10 on that transaction fee. And if you wait until gas goes into the low teens to do this, then you can save more on making the deposit into Pendle as well. So realistically, this should cost somewhere around 30 to $40 to do all of the steps that I showed you. And this is going to help you maximize your capital efficiency. I think it's worth it to spend that money because you get all the points for EtherFi, you get your eigenlayer points, and you get the yield from Pendle. So hopefully you found this little tutorial helpful. Stay tuned for lots more content and I'll see you later. Have a great day.